The 13th World Wind Energy Conference has been held in the morning of the 7th of April 2014 after 10 years period since WWEC was held in China for the first in 2004. Now it comes to China again. WWEC 2014 attracts almost 500 attendees covering wind energy and renewable energy industry from 22 countries and areas. WWEC 2014 received many supports from German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy, International Renewable Energy Agency, United Nations Development Program, the Renewable Energy Policy Network for the 21st Century, REN21, the Global 100% Renewable Energy Campaign, Goldwind Science and Technology Company Limited, Exxon Mobil China Investment Company Limited, International Copper Alliance, China, the World Future Council. WWEC 2014 sets the theme of Distributed Wind A Strategy for Large-Scale Wind Power Integrity in order to discuss wind power application and marketing matching methods. During three days period, there are totally more than 20 sessions with more than 130 speakers. During the event, IRENA also organized two side events about regional integration of wind power and small wind capacity building, certification, and training requirements. And the two sides of the Taiwan Straits organized a special session about both sides' common standards and industry cooperation. Furthermore, World Wind Energy Association also issued the World Wind Energy Award to the former president of WWEA, the pioneer of Indian wind energy career, Dr. Anil Kane, so as to honor his contributions of pushing the wind energy development in India, Asia, as well as the world. During the period of WWEC 2014, the 8th China Shanghai International Wind Energy Exhibition, CWEE8, was also held. There are more than 150 wind turbine manufacturers, component manufacturers, and small medium wind turbine manufacturers joining in CWEE8. After eight years' experience accumulations and brand cultivations, CWEE has been famous in wind energy industry as the character of pragmatic and effective. Many professionals have considered CWEE as the platform of understanding policy information, managing marketing trends, presenting enterprise brand, expanding trade channels, and searching for cooperation chances. 